सो इफ यू आर फाइंडिंग आवर वीडियोज हेल्पफुल एंड वॉन्ट टू स्टे अपडेटेड विद द लेटेस्ट इन साइट्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल सच दैट यू डोंट मिस एनी काइंड ऑफ वैल्यूएबल कंटेंट विच कैन एक्चुअली इनहैंस योर स्किल्स इन योर बैक एंड डेवलपमेंट थैंक यू हे हाय फोक्स वेलकम टू कोडोलाइव विथ अनुराग एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ अ न्यू प्ले लिस्ट वे आर वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट लो लेवल डिजाइन पैटर्न वी विल एक्सप्लोर ऑल क्रिएशनल स्ट्रक्चर एज वेल एज बिहेवियर डिजाइन पैटर्न एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव टू फोकस ऑन देयर नीड्स देयर स्ट्रक्चर एज वेल एज हाउ डू वी इम्प्लीमेंट दोज so before even starting uh, why what is design patterns let me tell you the approach that we are going to follow up uh, all over the series so the first one will be understanding a problem statement that uh, for solving this problem what design pattern which uh, is there which we can use then why do we need the design pattern or how it will going to solve the problem then i will explain you the class diagram by showing how the component will work and how this design pattern will be implemented in the code as well as an uh, example for example implementation of the code and uh, I don't. I am not going to write the code in there, but I will be explaining you the code line by line and where we have implemented that specific pattern. So let's start with what exactly are design patterns. So basically, these design patterns are some uh, already existing proven solutions to some common problems which comes in software design. They actually provide a standardized approach to build any kind of system that can be uh, scaled or maintainable or can be reusable. Think of them like a kind of a, a building blocks or a footprint architecture. they don't provide the exact code but they can actually give us a structured way to solve any kind of specific problem uh, uh, in a very effective way now uh, let's come to why do we actually need this design patterns to explain you why do we need this design patterns uh, let me share you a scenario so imagine you are building a large uh, software application that face that are facing lot of challenges such as a uh, duplicate duplicate code issues or tightly coupling between multiple layers of the application uh, as well as difficulty in adding new features without breaking up the code as well as uh, <clears throat> creating a messy as well as unstructured code so uh, in this scenario uh, we can use this design patterns as uh, the code base grows the design pattern actually help us to overcome these challenges by offering guidelines to write a better structured code so moving forward let's understand the categories of the design pattern so primarily we have three type of uh, categories the first one is the creational design pattern the structural design pattern as well as the behavioral design pattern so let me explain you in a very short uh, short sentence like what exactly are these uh, structures which we have to follow so the first one is creational design pattern so basically this creational design pattern deal with how the objects are created so this is basically how the objects are created right and uh, they actually abstract the instantiation process to make your code more flexible as well as reusable then it comes to structural uh, design pattern where this actually focuses on how the classes and objects are composed to form a bigger structure uh, this pattern will ensure that our code will be organized as and uh, the relationships are well maintained uh, all over our co code then it comes with a behavioral design pattern where it will deal with the uh, combination between the objects so this will will be the combination of objects and this will ensure that the interaction will be well structured and manageable uh, this pattern will be about defining how the objects objects will be collaborating so basically we are focusing more on the objects so the collaboration as well as the interaction of the objects so these are the uh, very naive definition of all the categories of the design pattern we will be uh, moving forward to check like uh, one by one all the subcategories so in creational we have singleton design pattern the factory abstract factory the builder and prototype design pattern in structural we are going to learn about uh, adapter design pattern the bridge composite decorator facade as well as flyweight and proxy design pattern in behavioral we will be uh, learning about observer strategy command state chain of responsibility and uh, iterator design pattern so uh, be with me in the series uh, we will be uh, deep dive into uh, all the design patterns and we'll be uh, learning about the the uh, need of those those design patterns and what kind of problems they solve